Hi guys, my name is Kunal and I am security consultant at Redfox Security. Today we are diving into power to powerful Active Directory persistent technique using Silver Ticket. We will explore what Silver Ticket are, how attackers use them to maintain access, and of course we will learn through a live demo of process. So let's get started. First we will see our today agenda. We will discuss what is Silver Ticket, how Kerberos authentication works, and steps in Silver Ticket attack and we will move to the practical of silver ticket and we will also discuss the impact of silver ticket attacks and de detection and mitigation so first we will discuss what is silver ticket the silver ticket is basically is a post exploitation attacks which means that a threat actor must already have compromised a target system or domain it is technique to maintain persistence in an already compromised system or a domain the silver ticket allow an attacker to authenticate to a specific service without ever contacting to the domain controller. Why? Because silver ticket can be forged if you know the service account credentials or machine account credentials. Basically, when we say service account credentials, we are referring it to the machine account credentials because mostly service services are run run by the machine's account. To craft our silver ticket attacks, first we, we need to understand how, Ker how Kerberos authentication works. So here is a diagram, I, I will let you go through of this. Imagine you have to access any service on the domain. To access any service on the domain, you cannot just go and start using the specific service. There is an authentication mechanism called Kerberos authentication in Active Directory to access any resources. Let's understand how Kerberos authentication works using this diagram. <clears throat> In first step, password converted to NTLM hash. Later, a timestamp is encrypted with the hash and sent to the KDC. In second step, KDC returns TGT is encrypted, signed and delivered to the user. Only Kerberos can open and read TGT data. So in second step, TGT is encrypted by KDC <clears throat> and delivered to the user. Only KerbyTG user can open and read the TGT data. In third step, TGS encrypted with KerbyTG has when requesting a TGS ticket. So basically in third step, TGS will be encrypted using KerbyTG has when requesting for TGS ticket. In four, fourth step by KDC, TGS encrypted using target service and TLM has. <clears throat> so basically in fourth step, our TGS will be encrypted using target service and TLM has, which means that uh, what service we want to access. For example, there is a MS SQL service uh, and we want to access the specific service. So in this case, MS SQL machine account has will be used to encrypt the TGS and then, then it will be sent back to the client. In fifth step, the user connect to the server hosting the service on the appropriate part and present the TGS. So in fifth step, the user connect to the server hosting the service, The any kind of service can be hosted on the specific server. Uh, for example, MS SQL, uh, Redis, anything, HTTP, web, web protocol, anything be like that. So in fifth step, the user connect to the server hosting the service on the appropriate part and then it will present its TGS to access the resources from the application server. Then, then application server verify the credentials, basically the TGS which, which given by the client. If the TGS is valid, then application server grant access to the its own server or the services. Next, steps in silver ticket attack. So for force the ticket or create the ticket, attacker must know the NTLM has of a service account, basically machine account. Uh, we can force or create the ticket uh, tools like Mimic as the attacker can create or force a valid service ticket using compromise hash of machine account. 
then there are many services we can access uh, using silver ticket and uh, the first one is http or host basically it is used for powershell remoting or winrm the second one is cifs used for windows file share and third one is ldap used for ldap operation there are many other service types you can check out on internet so basically after crafting the silver ticket the attacker can continue using this ticket until it expires or the ntlm has is changed so in active directory uh, in every 30 days machine account credentials are rotated ro rotated next we will use mimikaz with the following flags or commands uh the first command uh, we will use in mimic as is kerberos golden basically it is the name of the module there is no specific module for silver ticket uh they have specify the same same module for the silver ticket in silver ticket basically we will only specify the service service flag like uh, what kind of service we, we want to access like cfs http host the second flag is domain we have to provide the domain name fully qualified domain name fqdn basically and the sid sid of the domain we will also see how we can how we can basically gather the sid of the domain in practical and then target basically the target machine fqdn fully qualified domain name like uh, there is a like you have access on pc1 machine and you have credentials of dc so you have to specify the target dc and the service what kind of service you want to access like cfs cifs http host and we will specify as key by using as256 flag this flag uh, this this basically will be the target target credentials like if we are, we are we will we are using dc machine account as a target then we will have to specify the credentials of dc machine account and then we will specify the user username for which dct is generated basically we will use administrator account and then we will use ptt flag to inject the ticket in the current process we can remove the ptt flag to save the ticket into a file and then we can later use the ticket to to basically access the machine account or the services next preventing silver ticket attacks basically preventing silver ticket attacks is really tough because there is no enrollment for domain there is no enrollment of domain controller in this attack so no mdi no sensors like crowd strike but still we can follow some of the mitigation mitigation tactics to prevent this uh the first one is implementing the strong password policies like rotating the password of the machine account in like frequently not in like default one and then using the privilege access workstation and enable kerberos armoring regularly rotate service account passwords implement list privilege principles okay now let's move to the practical part of this video so imagine we have compromised a domain and we have gathered the following credentials of a machine account uh, the following is the machine account name batcs and we will forge the silver ticket to access the following service of of this machine to craft our silver ticket we will use mimikaz so first let's open the mimikaz folder as we have discussed in the ppt or in our presentation we 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 are going to use the following commands or flags so let's craft our payload we will use kerberos golden module then specify the domain name which is in our case batcs.box and then we will specify the sid of the domain 
to gather the SID of the domain, we can use various tools in, uh, like Power View. But uh, in this case, I am going to use CMD. Just type CMD and type who am I forward slash and user. This command will give you SID of your current user. And this will be your current user ID. <clears throat> and this part is your domain SID. So we, we only need the domain SID. So just let's, co let's copy the domain SID. Just paste it here. And type the target. Our target will be bad CS bad cs which will be the machine account name and then the then your domain name bad cs dot fox then type what kind of service we want to access in this in this video we are going to access file server so just type cifs and type the credentials of the that machine account I will be using AES 256 basically in the format of AES just copy the credentials and type the username we will use administrator and we can uh, specify the PDT flag to inject into the current process or we can leave it uh, so if we don't specify the ptt flag it will save the ticket into a file but uh, for that moment we do not want to save into a file we will inject it into our current process and then type the exit, exit command and press the enter okay so the our mimic as binary has been detected by the virus and basically with the protection of the windows defend uh, let me first disable the virus and threat protection just wait okay i have disabled the antivirus of the current windows host to run the mimic as binary let's first ex extract the binary again because the windows defender have removed it just yes to all and then we will run our binary again with the following commands let's press enter as you can see our silver ticket has been crafted and crafted and injected into the current process we can verify it by using klist command just type the klist and it will show the following information our client will be administrator from batcs.fox domain and our server will be cifs of this following machine account batcs.batcs.fox this one is your domain and this one is your machine account machine account basically the another system or target system we can try access accessing the file server from the following machine account using dir command just type dir and paste the following path and basically let's uh, we are going to access the c directory just type the c dollar to access the c directory and press enter okay now as now we can see that uh, we can access the following service on the target machine we, we can also use the http service in our mimic as mimic as to basically use the winrm protocol or windows windows power windows power cell remoting protocol but for this video we, we we are going to only use cifs to basically show the what silver ticket can do and how it is basically powerful tool power not powerful tool but uh, it is a powerful technique because it did not easily get caught by the MDI or the domain controller. If you have any questions, you can drop in into the comment section. I will reply there. 
So I hope this gave you a clear idea of how attackers use silver ticket and how can defend your network, how you can basically defend your network. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. See you in the next one.